Hello, folks. Welcome back to the Steve Morning Show right here on C Today. Now we're jumping into our third discussion of the day. This one, Simplified, going to be the highlight of our program today because today we're going to talk to discuss about the coming days to the Paris 2024 Olympics. Yesterday, we already had a discussion with Rio Olympian Glenn Victor Susando, and we already had a better understanding about the Olympics euphoria and excitement. And to conclude today's talk show, we will be discussing this year's games with Olympics debutant. We have Joe Aditya Wijaya Kurniawan and Azahra Permatahani, alongside with their phenomenal coach, Albert Sutanto. Sutanto, that is just days away before they're going to depart to Paris for the Paris 2024 Olympics. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here with us. Good morning. I am so excited and I am not the swimmer myself, but definitely it is so great to have you here and in making your time amongst all your hectic schedule, definitely for the preparation, but coming here to our studio to kind of share with us what will be happening during the Paris 2024 Olympics, especially from the swimming sport division. Now, Coach Albert, I mean, it is very cliche if I say, How's the preparation? This is not your first rodeo. This is not also your first rodeo to bring the Indonesian contingent to Olympics because you were also Olympian before in the previous years. But again, this is the Paris. Everyone is already focusing their eyes in the sports world celebration. So what about Joe and also Zahra? Are they ready and also prepared for this year's competition? Um, first of all, they are in a good, we make sure they're in a good health. That's fit. number one. Yeah, and then fit. Yes. And then we try to preparing their mentally mm -hmm. for the for these competitions, and we try to develop their their confidence that yes. they have their ability to achieve their goal, which is the personal best in Olympics. Mm -hmm. And we more work on the race strategy you know, for, by yes. doing a lot of a uh, race pace work in the training so because we try to anticipate the distractions mm -hmm. uh, from you know from the the one they race next to them yeah because the strategy is very important in swimming and i think they're ready yes them. training is done preparation is also done and definitely but, having you as a coach coach albert mm -hmm. you are a two-time olympian uh, and definitely every olympics is also very different you have different yeah competition, you have different athletes from different, you know, people in the world or the athletes in the world that's joining is also very different. Yeah. So how do you see back then? You were in 2000, 2000, 2000 and 2004. 2000 and 2004. Yep. So that's about 24 years, about yeah. 20 years apart. Yep. How do you see the now, the development, especially on the swimming division is very you know, different than how it was back then in 2000, 2004? Uh, the, 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 the difference is Back then, we only have uh, hits and finals. Mm -hmm. We only swim twice if we advance to finals. Yeah. But these Olympic Games yeah. is modern Olympic Games is different. They uh, they have a, they have to swim three times through uh, hits, semifinals, and finals. Yes. And also the swimmers at the moment is is different. They're not only focused on the race and nutrition, but they also the sports science are very mm -hmm. different. The how many strokes do they uh, swim, I mean, they do in the first 50, second 50 and stuff. It's just a lot different. And definitely there is, it seems that it is more challenging this year Olympics. for the Olympics. But again, every athlete, and I think in any sports, it's all about mentality. Yes. And when you already sets forth all your athletes to have this really positive mentality mm. and be confident in themselves and be confident in their training, you know, hopefully they will succeed to all their goals and yes. what they want to achieve. Yep. And now we're going to head on to Zara here. So Zara, this is your second Olympics. So congratulations. So for you, is this something like, okay, I'm back here again? Or you, every uh, session or every time that you have to enter, you know, this world uh, platform of sports, you still have that kind of like, I mean, nervousness or even like a preparation that is very different than previous before. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, I feel honored, of course, yes. uh, to be here, to be represent Indonesia again in Olympic Games. But uh, of course, uh, it's going different experience mm -hmm. with uh, the first Olympic in Tokyo 2021. Mm -hmm. Because in Tokyo 2021, uh, it was held during uh, pandemic COVID. Yeah. So uh, we, we, are, we were not able to do many activity. Mm -hmm. um, 
We are we are just stay at Adelaide Village. Okay. Uh, we cannot go around Tokyo. So like sightseeing. Yeah, no. We kind of like put no, out the pressure. Yeah. Uh, we cannot. Uh, we just stay uh, at Adelaide Village. Mm -hmm. And I feel for now this Olympic Games in Paris 2024, mm -hmm. it's going to be different because everyone is more enthusiastic, of course. Yes. And I feel great uh, energy. I mean, does that really play a part when you said back in 2021 in Tokyo during the pandemic, you know, there's, there's no one in the crowd. So basically, if you're in that uh, indoor uh, swimming pool, it seems it's very quiet. It's only yeah. you and the athletes. I mean, you are definitely empty. have your coach and the team of Indonesian contingent, but it was just, it's very different vibe. Does yeah, that play a role also mentality in how you're going to perform? Uh, well, uh, in Tokyo, of course, uh, there is... Uh, no, uh, no people, no, no spectators. Yeah. Empty, yeah. empty tribune. Okay, uh, there is uh, only coach and my teammates, of course. Uh, and of course, in Paris 2024, it will be di different. Yeah. But uh, I think about my mental, it's going to be okay. And I just focus on my race. Yes. I just do my best, my hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, the water is their world, by the way. So mm. once they're in the water, that's it. That's their <laughs> that's their uh, playground. That's their platform. Now, coming to you, Joe, you have won three medals in regional events, but now you're making an Olympic debut in a spur moment. I mean, you've been saying you've been holding your heart. I know it is it is such an enigmatic feeling, perhaps. How does it feel for you? Yeah, uh, totally honored to be. Uh, represent Indonesia in the Olympics because uh, every swimmer has dream of it. Of course. Like, um, since I was little, going to the Olympics was once a dream and now uh, it finally came true. Yeah. And uh, what are you, have you ever been to like, I mean, you went to a world competition before, you've already participated in that. Yeah. So this is almost the same as other you know, other competition, but we know that Olympics, it is a sports celebration for the world. People are always, they don't think about anything. They're only talking, talking, thinking, and set their focus on the Olympics. Does that put pressure on you or that could be a motivation for you? Uh, yeah, the pressure is still there, of course. Uh, Olympics just a uh, higher level of competition, mm -hmm. especially in sport. And, but yeah, the pressure is I can see the pressure as a spirit too, because I can have the courage and all the support from our nations. Definitely. Now, Coach Albert, I want to ask you, for the swimming division itself, you're bringing only two athletes or yes. two contingents. <clears throat> Why is that? Uh, because we qualify to a universality place, mm -hmm. so which is we only allow to bring to submit uh, one female, one male. Okay. But the names that they they've been chosen by uh, World Aquatics, right? Because they have the their highest point. Now, in regards to wow. that, this is to the three of you, yep. or Coach Albert, Zahra, and also to Joe. Is that like you? Is that put a, a chip on your shoulder? I'm not going to say a burden because it is not a burden. But but does that put more motivation for you that the two swimmers and also you, Coach, mm. that whatever you know, whatever the the that when you're going to perform, you're going to give your best. And at the end, whatever that you're going to receive, whether that's the medals or the qualification, that's already good enough for us because there's just this limited of contingent. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's very hard right now to qualify for the Olympics. It's very hard. Yeah. Uh, the time is going faster and faster each year. So they have to reach the certain point mm -hmm. to be able to qualify. Yes. Even they fast enough, even uh, they got medals in Southeast Asian Games or yes. Asian Games, it doesn't mean they were qualified for the Olympic Games. Yes. Olympic Games is different. Definitely. Yeah. And Joe will be competing in the 100-meter butterfly while Zahra in the 200-meter medley. Yep. Any specific, again, any specific targets from Coach Albert and also from Zahra and also from Joe? Maybe from Joe first. Okay. Uh, my target is uh, focus on my personal best mm -hmm. and that it was also the national record for Indonesia. And also, maybe, hopefully, I can make the semifinals in the Olympics. 
And yeah, my target uh, basically is move my rank up in the world stage. Yeah, qualifying to the next stage, right? Yes. What about you, Zara? Uh, same with Joe, maybe. <laughs> Um, I hope there I can break my personal best time, uh, which is my personal best time, 200 individual medley is 218, and I hope there I can swim under 280. Okay, so you already have your time record, the latest time record. What about you, Joe? Yeah, uh, my event is 100 butterfly. Yes. That the time is 52.75. That was uh, the personal record in December, mm -hmm. and yeah. So the qualification for Olympics is 51.9 seconds and that's, that's what I'm trying to break. So let, let us just put through because Joe and Zahra just mentioned their uh, latest time records, yep. right? I mean, us as a, you know, people of Indonesia that is just probably thinking, we just want medals. <laughs> but these athletes already have numbers in their yep. heads. They already have their choreography. They already have, you know, the, their strategies and also that. Again, take us through uh, Coach Albert because, you know, sometimes when we see, um, I think, swimming competition, they're just racing between themselves. Their challenge is themselves. That's it right. seems because they have their own individual tracks. They don't, you know, it's not a teamwork. I mean, yep. they, they're just by themselves on their lane. Hmm. So whatever sets them back, it's because of themselves. So the yep. challenge is within them. Yep. So what is it in their mind, and Joe and Zahra, and also including you because you're a two-time Olympian, what was in your mind when you were already inside the pool and you see your track? And how can I be other competitors and also other athletes? Um, when, when I was a swimmer, I used to try to focus on my race, my own race. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, we, because we are too excited, then we see our competitors next to us, you know, yeah. left and right. So sometimes the distraction is there. Sometimes we don't want to be, like, we, we have our own strategy, but sometimes we just, you know, try to follow our competitors next because to us. Because we still see yeah. them. Yeah, because we are too exciting and then we just, you know, with the spectators, like amazing, like, yeah. uh, so many of them. So we're just too exciting and then we forget everything. That's the distraction that I try to put them into a focus on the risk strategy. Right. Yeah, to the plan. Because we, we fail the plan, then we a plan to fail, right? Yes. So they have to be right. That's what we're working on right now. And elaborate with us more because for us that is not uncommon with the swimming division. We just mm. thought once you're inside the pool, you just have to like swim as fast as you can <laughs> from that side and to that end yeah. and then you're, you'll, you'll be the winner, right? Yeah. But it's not like that the case on the yeah. field. Not like that. Okay. Yeah. We, have a, we have a strategy for the swimmers. I mean, mm -hmm. Some of the swimmers, they go fly and die. We call fly and die to go fast and then try to hold them yes. to the finish. But some of them, like Zara, they more planning, you know, they go their pace, like um, moderate effort, and then try to go fast, and the, we right. call it back end speed, so it's different. And then we don't know, next to us, our... Their strategy, yeah. right, within so us. So sometimes we're different. Right. But that's uh, very hard for us, but we have to focus on our race. Mm -hmm. And maybe for Zara and Joe, who would you say the most uh, competition and the most competitive athlete or from which part of the world do you think that you set your mind like I know I have to they're the one that I have to be not like you're belittled others mm -hmm. but that's from that country that athlete from yeah. that country uh, for my events it's probably USA okay China uh, Australia and Hungary okay that's the top level of mm -hmm. my events maybe different with Zara yes the, in a different events. Okay. Well, what about you, Zahra? Uh, well, for me, it's maybe from uh, Hungary, okay. uh, America, and Australia. Oh, they've been mentioned now by, by, by Joe and also <laughs> from Zahra. So, how do you see that, uh, Coach Albert? Because we know that uh, both Zahra and Joe are, is ready. I mean, they are qualified mm. also by, and they can proceed to the Olympics, so they are qualified for this. Yeah. But they were mentioning, you know, athletes from that part of the regions, USA, more hungry, more yeah. the European and the Western countries. Why do you think they're more excelled or more on the top level than maybe other countries in the world? Um, because they very focused on the sport that has a, a lot of uh, medals, you know. Uh, they build their, uh, develop their sports science, yeah. for sure. Yes. Um, we beat maybe not in that level. Well, not there yet. Yeah. Yes. And we try to work, try yes. to get them involved yeah. in the training at the moment. Yes. But but different. They they already 
the system in USA, in Australia, they're a very solid system. Yeah. They're supporting in, in every angle, you know, so it's different with us. Yes. That's the difference. And sometimes as spectators, we always see only the coach and also the athletes, yes, right? But right. it takes a solid team, that's whether right. that's the physiotherapist and yes. then the bassoos and the nutritionist. Yeah. It has to be a very good solid team to kind of set the target and for you to achieve the target. But then again, we know that sports industry right now is being so much, um, you know, being supported by the government also. Yeah. And also you have 270 people of Indonesia yeah. <laughs> supporting for you guys. All right, last question to you, uh, Coach uh, Albert. You are well known for, spot, uh, for spotting potential and also talent. Mm. And both of your athletes are now still the uh, age of under 25. You're both 22 years old, yep. very young. So, they are on their prime, especially when you're talking about physics and also mm. men mentality. Yep. So how do you see their future for both Zahra and also for Joe? Well, they still have uh, a few years to, to be able to compete in the higher level. Of to swimming. grow also? Yep. And the potential is very high for them. I mean, they're able to get a medals in the Asia, not yes. only Southeast Asia. Uh, at the moment, they need to focus more on the swimming part because uh, Azara has already graduated from the university. Okay, congratulations. Now, now she, Thank you. Just a few days ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> so this so, is a treat. Yeah, <laughs> now, now she can focus more mm -hmm. uh, on the swimming. Yeah, so basically focusing on your performances and your strategies and even you yourself. With that said, Coach Albert, and also for Joe and Zahra, thank you so much for being here with us. We know in a couple of hours, I mean, like less than 48 hours, you'll be flying to Paris. Yes. And congratulations, and whatever the targets and you will achieve. Again, as I said previously, 270 million people of Indonesia are supporting you. So have that proudness within you, and we're very proud of you three. Thank you very much for this. Thank and you. And success you. in Paris 2024. Thank you. <laughs> All right, folks, that was our chat and discussion with our Olympian and also Indonesian contingent, especially from the swimming division that will take part in Paris 2024 Olympics. Now we're set for another quick break. When we return, I will have recap for more of sports updates. Stay tuned.